fun fact here, not only does Buzz love string, but he also loves paper. If I put down paper, he will likely sit on top of it. So now you know a little bit more about Buzz. Today we're going to do a lesson that is inspired by creating happy rainbows. Now, a lot of times you can create something that you can spread positivity to other friends. And I've seen a lot of artists using rainbows as a symbol of hope and love and positivity. So what I'm going to challenge you to do is to make many multiples, which means there's lots of things, um, lots of little tiny rainbows that you can cut up and then either give to people, hide somewhere, um, trap inside your house somewhere, or um, kind of help spread positivity and love using rainbows as a symbol of hope for some positivity after the storm. So for that, you'll need some sort of large sheet of paper, any drawing or painting tools, and a scissors probably to cut them all apart. So I'll be doing some watercolor as well as some Posca pens, um, which are great for going over the top of paint. But of course, you could just do it with crayons, you could do it with uh, markers, you can use any tools that you might have. So let's begin first by doing our mantra and then we'll get started making our multiple rainbows. So together, here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. Right, Buzz? All right, let's get started. All right, my friends, to start your mini shareable rainbows, all you need are some sort of coloring tools. Again, you can use any materials to make this work. I'll be making happy rainbows that are rainbow shapes, but not necessarily rainbow order colors. And I'll be adding different details like lines and designs to the top to make them each their own unique design. Now, you can also do this same thing with hearts or smileys or some sort of symbol of positivity, but I'm gonna stick to rainbows today. So in using my paint, I'm kind of gonna just map out where my rainbows are going to be. And based on the size of my paper, I'll probably be able to get, I don't know, maybe six across and three or four down. So I'm gonna just start with a little bit of paint and map out where I want my rainbows to be. And then I can always go back in, give my brush a nice clean dance party, maybe map out the outside of each of my rainbows first so that I have my spaces figured out. And then I can go back in and do some smaller details on the inside, like the second layer of colors. So I think I'm gonna be able to get six across here and I always go back and fill in that other side a little bit. You can also do a tricky little wet on wet painting where you have wet paint and then put another color next to it and it'll kind of drip like if I use this darker blue and put a darker blue in the bottom then it'll kind of meld up to the top that might be kind of fun so I'm going to finish mapping out my initial arches and then I'll go back in and show you how we can add some other details I've got all my colored rainbow arches mapped out so now I'm going to go back in with different colors and do some other kinds of designs and lines Maybe I'll go back in and do some things like dashed lines, dotted lines, wiggly lines, curly lines, and start to fill in my rainbows so each of them looks a little bit different than the next. I wanna make sure I leave a little bit of space in between though because I'm gonna cut these out at the end and sign them so that I can give them out as individual pieces of shareable art. leave your rainbows just like that or you could go back in with different tools like markers crayons colored pencils and start adding some extra fine details over the top of your rainbows just to give them a little bit more interest my goal as I was drawing was to have at least three layers of lines on each rainbow so for example like this one has green purple and then the blue dots I felt like that was enough so some that only had two I made sure to go back in and try to add a third layer so now I'm gonna add just a few more details with my markers over the top just to add a little bit more interest. Love this piece of art just like this but of course the whole purpose of our shareable rainbows today is to gift them to other friends so the next step you'll need to do is just to cut these out you could also use a ruler just to kind of trim them so that they're a little bit closer to a straight line but i'm just going to cut kind of rough and get each of my rainbows on their own little sheet of paper step 
is of course to sign them. As an artist, it's always important to sign your work so you know who was the creator. And you can even write a special little message on the back or something in order to continue sharing that positivity. So I'm gonna sign my stack and then I'll have to decide where I'm going to put them. These little happy rainbows are a great way to share love and positivity with the people around you. So after you put a little message on the back, go ahead and stick them on a path where people can pick them up, maybe mail them to some friends and family or teachers if you want to make these and send them to your students. There are so many possibilities and sending love and art is a great way to share how you feel and how you care about someone around you. So my friends, we're going to end with a little meditation today to make us strong and ready for the rest of the day. And for this one, we're going to do one very deep breath in and one very long exhale. While you're doing that, send a lot of love to yourself and remember that you are strong and you are loved and you can share your love with the people around you. So one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, and let's do that one very deep breath. Here we go. My friends, I hope you had a great time making some happy rainbows with me, and hopefully you'll find someone that you would love to share that positivity with. Remember, you are amazing, you are strong, you are resilient, and I love you. We'll see you next time.